that is an animal, an animal is an edible thing. So since it's, it's an edible thing, so then the Torah, of course, directs us that you have to have a thing that is minamut repicho, which means to say that if you want, the, if the Torah point, points out minamut repicho, that means to say, in other words, that it is a thing that is a, has a quality, a special quality, top quality, minamut repicho, it's a kosher thing. Where is a chayich to say minamut repicho by a kosher thing? Only a thing that is chayich by them, that it could be kosher, it could be non-kosher. How come? Since it's an edible thing, so you have to now see if it's kosher or non-kosher. The Torah directs us that we have to look for kosher. But if, for instance, the Torah tells us to build a sukkah, a sukkah usually isn't built out of animals, although the Gemara <coughs> you could make an, 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 elef, uh, an, an elephant as a wall for the sukkah. But usually it shouldn't be made out of anything edible at all. Context build, with with, building materials is, isn't edible things. The context with Kabbal Tuma. Yeah, yeah, okay. So if the Torah needs us to make a thing for, which is not an animal, with it, which is not edible, so there you can't say that the Torah says that it should be made of because the Torah doesn't say at all as it should, be, it should be edible at all. And since it is a thing like stones or rocks or wood, that is not the dove of Ipuchoy, it's not the, just the opposite. You don't have a thing that is non-kosher, and you don't have a thing that is kosher. So therefore, you should say that the Torah didn't put the term it should be menamut refiha. So therefore, he says that it is no connection to tefillin. Why? Because tefillin is a thing that has to be made out of a thing that is edible, as usual. So then the Torah puts down the quality, it should be top quality, it should be menamut refiha. It's edible, but it should be not only edible, it should be kosher and permitted to eat as well. But if the Torah, for instance, directs us to use, to, to make us just a plain uh, mitzvah like sukkah, you have to build, you have to build a building. So what, the Torah would say that you have to build a building that should be kosher or it should be even edible? Since you don't have the, 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 the chesorin of non-kosher, that's, that's why also uh, there's no quality in making the thing it should be bedavka, kosher and edible as well. That's why we use... Wood for a sukkah, because sukkah is not, it's not the, okay. So that's why he says there's no connection. And what is very interesting is that the Noid Vihude came out in a late edition. We've already finished, but uh, just a sen sentence in your, in your permission. The Noid Vihude uh, brings down, uh, uh, came out in a new edition, and, and the side he brings in a goet, the Ksav Yad, that means that the publishers gave out a, uh, uh, a new edition of the Neid Behude, which the son of the Neid Behude writes, Biksavyad, that afterwards, much years after, later after I wrote this, uh, is uh, suddenly, uh, Nizgalili, I, 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 Nizgalili, that uh, there's a difference between uh, this one and that one, and he brings the same scholar which the Valad Chelis said, which we just mentioned. So what does it mean, is Galilee? What does it mean? All of a sudden, he, 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 he revealed a, a, a new world. What happened uh, all of a sudden? He doesn't say that he, he thought about it and, and he was at Mechadish. He was in Galilee. So in the, uh, there's a sefer that came out in the time of the Neid and And uh, in, in this sefer, he, he says, Echtek Lando which is the son of Nehud who wrote this tune. Yomim Rabim Hukshilo, you had this kasha and uh, this and that, and uh, tefillin, and what about, uh, what about uh, the sukkah and uh, minamut repicho? Yes? So he, so he says, so, 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 so he says that all of a sudden, in the later years, uh, his father, the uh, Nehud Behude, uh, came to Cholim. He, he, he dreamed a dream, and he saw his father, the Neid Behude, in his dream. And the Neid Behude tells him, listen, uh, you asked the question, this and that. Here's, here's the answer, here's the response. It's no question, and it's not, it's not similar. It's two separate, separate topics, two separate things. And he told him the exact same story as we just mentioned. And afterwards, a day later, he came in the Smedrish, and he told it for the London. And all along them approved to 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 his father. And uh, afterwards, the night later, he saw the night of Yehuda again in a dream, and he said he, he repeated the, the answer that he told for the London, and everyone was uh, impressed. 
high spirits, as Going you great. say. Okay, so this is this is for this. Mm -hmm. It just uh, I would just mention that the, uh, this question of Menamut Rebicha is handled as well in the Shavuos Shavuos Chasam Soifer. I don't know today. Today it's maybe not uh, so pra practical, Lemaise, uh, But uh, once uh, usually they used to make the peroiches, the curtain of the Orion Kodesh and the mappa on the bime. They used to make it out of silk. So the the Chasam Soifer, the Chasam Soifer, he asks that he can't understand how how come we make it out of silk. There's an interesting uh, what's it called? Uh, interesting Rabbeinu Bichaye. But the Rebbeinu Mechaya says in Parshas Truma that it says, "Vehikuli Truma Tchele Ezra Gomer Mitelashor Nivesheish Morsa." All the type of thing that you bring for this. So he says, "Loy Matzinu Meshi Melinda Samishkan." Silk, silk is a very expensive material. It should have been uh, represent, re represented in the Melech Samishkan. We find all the expensive, uh, important materials as gold and whatever. And, uh, why isn't silk pre re uh, presented here? Since it comes out of the creature of the silkworm, just like the Gemara says in Tachash, the Gemara says in Tachash, so he asks, how come we use the, the, the silk for, for, for the mismatch to make it to make a paroichis and whatever today I, I think most of the places don't use it. Okay. So he has a ganze rechis so we will not have it. Oh Talashoni you're asking very, very uh, wonderful question. But the Talashoni brings that there's a there's a dispute if really the Talashoni used was the worm for itself or is it just a, a type of uh, thing that the is the type of thing that grows in a certain tree, which the worms crawl into it and they sit and they dwell into it. But it's not the, it's not the worm for itself. Anyway, Dvash. this is his question. Like oh. no. Silk is also the same. Silk is also the same. Okay. Well, <laughs> silk is also the same. It's, split. it's really dvash. It's produced through the worm. Okay. He's saying you follow the gazak. You're saying mekaven to 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 be mekaven a chelik of what the chasam soifer by itself says. Two opinions. Two opinions. First of all, he wants to say that there's a chelik between tashmish ektush and tashmish mitzvah. Afterwards, he says that first of all, he says that the mefalosech we rely upon this. Those opinions that say that. Um, that Minamut Rafiq is not every place. All of the night that the Mogan of Rome take